everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a new video, an update video, yay. But I've been told that you guys appreciate it, so <laughs> if you're new here, hi, I'm Iku. I moved to Tokyo, Japan as a foreign student about three months ago already, and I'm here to give you a little update about how things are going, things I'm getting used to, things I just for the life of me cannot get used to, let's just put it the yet, cannot get used to yet, all those kinds of things and a little later in the video I will answer a few questions that you guys have sent me over on Instagram so feel free to follow me there because I often put up the question AMA um, in my stories from time to time so feel free to join me on there. I have a feeling this video is going to be a little bit on the long side just because I have taken many notes, <laughs> many things that I want to talk about or want to try and talk about in this video but of course if I, if you feel that I'm just glazing over things and you want more details or maybe a dedicated video on the subject, just write it in the comments. I want to start off by saying that I just turned off the AC for the sound, close the window for the sound. Japanese summer has officially started. It's blazing hot so let's see how long I can stand without the AC running and how long my voice can stand what the hell let me get some more water it's not it usually happens to me after a 45 minute video we're two minutes in and my voice is already dead oh my god <clears throat> I know I haven't really spoken to anyone today yet I mean it's a Monday I'm off from school so I don't it's not like I speak a lot but wow Okay, lighting is not the best, but we'll have to do, or we'll have to make do. My it makes my face look a little bit deformed, so I don't like it. You guys are not here for my face, you're here for things about Japan and Tokyo and living here. So let's let's just let's jump right into it. So three months already. It has gone by so fast. So three months means that I'm done with the first How long is a semester? A semester is six months? Let's just say term. I'm done with the first term at school. Um, I think, well, I really, hmm, okay, I'm already all over the place, but let's try, reel it in. Um, I really like school, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot to juggle with when you already have a job to try and maintain your lifestyle here. So I'm not the only one with a job. I I'm, might be one of the only ones with a freelance job but a lot of my classmates have baito, so part-time jobs so a lot of us are juggling with the homework and the studying and the part-time jobs so I definitely feel like I'm not the only one struggling with that balance I feel like I'm doing a better job at the moment compared to my update at the one month um, point um, <laughs> but it's still definitely hard sometimes I have sacrificed like a little bit of homework because I have too much work to do or you know things like that it's just a, it's just a juggling act a balancing act I don't feel like my speaking skills or my listening skills are that good yet I still feel very um what's the word like kind of like an inferiority complex when it comes to my speaking and listening skills I do okay with like written tests and you know writing and learning kanji and stuff but when it comes to maybe the important part for someone who wants to live in Japan speaking and listening I definitely have some issues that still I think I've mentioned it in the last update video that I really really struggle with, with the speaking and listening portion even though with my classmates we only speak Japanese to each other we're like mainly like maybe 90% of the time we speak Japanese with each other and oh it's still really frustrating I'm, I'm sure there's progress that I can't see because I'm like this close to it but I definitely need to make more of an effort when it comes to daily speaking not just going to the supermarket and hearing the same sentences over and over I need to practice like conversational skills that's that's for sure I'm definitely getting used to a lot of things here um, I remember 
in the last update I was very worried because I wanted to get used to things much faster and I feel like I wasn't moving forward enough well I feel like I'm slowly getting used to life here but there's also the nagging feeling of not enough definitely not enough mostly because of the conversational skills I thought I'd be a little bit more advanced by now three months in but I still don't feel like comfortable uh, making a phone call in Japanese you know like making an appointment in Japanese I was like phone calls are scary as it is <laughs> but in a language you don't understand where maybe you can write out the first sentences you're gonna say to that person on the phone but then you know that person on the phone, phone is gonna just start speaking basically and you're just gonna be like yep I just I don't understand anything you said I'm so sorry I'm a dumb foreigner that brings me to uh, another point where that I wanted to bring up I'm probably all over the place same as usual I'm sorry I have no structure but foreigner guilt foreigner guilt is still very present um, I know I had it at the start and I thought it would go away, it would dissipate over time, but it's still very much here. I still feel stared at a lot, I still feel judged, but I know that that's just an impression. But I'm afraid of making mistakes because I'm a foreigner in a very homogenous country. I feel like I'm going to do something wrong, I'm going to get told off. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get sent back to my country, I don't know about that, but I definitely feel like I'm making myself smaller and I don't like that feeling. It's a very mm, anxiety-triggering feeling that I can't be myself yet and it's not anybody's fault but my own, but foreigner guilt here in Japan is still very much a thing for me. Um, I'm trying to break out uh, I'm trying to break free from it, like from my own shell, like this, my own little box that I've created for myself, but um, yeah, at the moment I'm still struggling, like if my Japanese friend is talking to me on the train, even though people around us are maybe talking also, I still feel so bad for answering because it's a quiet environment and I don't want to be that stupid foreigner who can't follow the rules you know it's like these little things I make myself smaller and after a while of doing that it doesn't feel comfortable so that's maybe a negative point for myself is that I am, I am kind of uh, shooting down my own self-esteem by making myself smaller and unworthy of being in the country and you know all the bad negative things that come with this kind of attitude but I think Foreign guilt is a common feeling. I don't think everybody feels this way, but definitely some people will understand where I'm coming from. Maybe if you have <laughs> lower self-esteem uh, to start with, maybe it's something that you might struggle with. I hope not. Definitely hope not, but that's how it is for me um, at the moment. But I hope, like, same with everything, same with the speaking Japanese and listening and yada 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 i hope that in time it will dissipate and i'll be able to be myself here because that's the whole point <laughs> i'm not gonna move to a country and just fade away you know as a person and voila that's long story short for the guilt right so i lost my train of thought so i'm just gonna refer back to this list of things uh, yeah, I talked about foreigner guilt, fear of standing out. Um, I wrote down that I'm being more careful uh, about how I dress. Clearly not right now. I mean, I'm at home, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> I'm in cozy clothes. Uh, but outside, especially at the beginning, I was so, so careful about how I dressed because I didn't want my tattoos to stand out that much. I didn't want like this area to stand out as much uh, I was afraid that maybe my skirt, my skirts, my skirts, I do wear skirts my skirts were uh, too short, you know, all these, again, foreign guilt fear of standing out, fear of making a mistake, of being told off and I have been told off before and it doesn't feel good like when a Japanese person is like, dame da yo you're like, oh man, I fail and it's not, I know it's not a big deal, but to me, perfectionist um, 
it's, it is a big deal but back to the clothing um, yeah at the, especially at the beginning I remember being in a mall with a cardigan but in a um, like a, a dress with straps underneath and I was dying of heat and my friend was like just take off your jumper and I was like no <laughs> my tattoos will show and my shoulders will show and everyone will stare at me but now that it's summer the very hot and humid Japanese summer uh, whatever you know <laughs> I've kind of given up sure I still want to dress nice uh, another point is that three months in I'm kind of running out of clothes and it's silly thing but I really enjoy my fashion and I really like putting outfits together and I'm coming to a point where I feel like I'm kind of running out of inspiration from the clothes that I bought with me and I kind of want to go shopping but also have to be very careful with money Ooh. <laughs> I keep jumping from one thing to another, uh, to another, but we're talking about clothes and appearance. It is Tokyo, so I guess, you know, you go outside to fancy areas or just even on the train, you see these Japanese girls with their really pretty outfits and really pretty hair and it looks so like polished and well put together and I'm just like, my hair getting frizzy from the humidity and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm in this moment in time where my self-esteem is definitely taking a beating uh it's my own fault <laughs> it's definitely a me a me problem it's nothing to do with how people are around me i didn't realize that coming to a new country would um i'm gonna say temporarily make it worse because i think it's going to go away but it's definitely yeah i definitely feel a little bit low not my mood but definitely like some days i just want to hide under a rock kind of feeling i know it does seem like everything i'm saying is negative but it is an update there are some good things there are some bad things sometimes i look at myself in the mirror and it's like oh my god who is this person you know like i'm turning 31 next month and of course i'm at school where like i think the youngest student is still in his teens so I, mm, there are a lot of little elements that come into play the four and a guilt, the standing out, the you know add them all together and yeah my, it definitely it, my self esteem is definitely taking a hit at the moment and I think it might be a normal part of the process if there's anyone who went through something similar if like moving to a new country please let me know i'd be curious to know but I, I wrote it down a few times in this list because i wrote down being more careful how i dress self-conscious about my face uh for any guilt um not being used to the stairs yet of course i stand out i'm like a head taller than a lot of people <laughs> i got really long legs so I definitely stand out and the way I dress is different and I like the way I dress but it is different so of course I'm gonna get some stares especially in this little town filled with mostly senior citizens <laughs> so they will blatantly stare like they watch you walk by I'm just like please can I just turn invisible for a second <laughs> so yeah it is a, a recurring theme because I wrote it down more than once on this list so yeah getting told off makes me want to crawl into a hole and die <laughs> being a little dramatic maybe things i am getting used to like not the stairs but like i'm some things i got used to so fast like walking on the left instead of the right uh eating a bunch of rice every day using chopsticks all those are things i got used to really fast um it's like second nature to me now for some reason there are little things that i'm so used to i'm finally for the most part um used to a supermarket near my house i know more or less where things are um i haven't really figured out points cards yet i think i managed to get one on my phone but i haven't tried it out yet <laughs> i'm a little bit scared 
because I'm making mistakes. Oh my god. <laughs> Another thing I'm getting used to is paying with cash. When I came here as a tourist, it used to kind of stress me out and I would just give them like a bill and just end up with a bunch of cash that I never used up because I was afraid of like counting them and having people behind me being like, hurry the f up. But now I'm mostly used to coins. I'm famously bad at math, so <laughs> there's that to factor in. But I usually don't have a wallet full of coins. I, I guess 7-Eleven helps because you can just throw coins into the machine <laughs> most of the time. And some supermarkets have like the fast checkout thing, so just empty your wallet in there. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting used to always having cash with me, which is the complete opposite of me back in Belgium. I just never, ever had cash on me. It was always beep for touch the card to the machine and I'll be on my way. Oh, one more thing with money is, and that I cannot get used to for the life of me is, is that I keep forgetting the tax because the prices that you see in supermarkets, the big price, is not the final price. The, the tax isn't included. In Belgium, you see the price and that's the final price. So sometimes you get a little bit of a surprise when you go pay and kind of like, that's not the number I had in my head by far, um, but yeah, tax keep forgetting to add the tax and usually it's written on the price tag just in smaller just keep forgetting about it okay what else is on here i'm predictable weather yes and no i'm getting used to it i read the weather report every morning to know whether if I, to know whether i should bring my umbrella or not what type of clothes i need to bring because at the very beginning um I saw the weather would stay like consistent throughout the day, even like the temperature. And then I would walk out of school at the end of the afternoon-ish and I would be freezing. I would be absolutely freezing. Of course, the class has air conditioning, which doesn't help, but the temperature would just drop. Like there's the temperature and then the, there's the, it feels like temperature. And those are very different things. So I'm for that aspect, I am, getting used to it. I know always to like bring a sweater for the end of the day or like jacket or something like that but at the beginning it would definitely get me. I would be like walking home like oh my god what is happening? It's supposed to be the same as a few hours ago before school but now it's absolutely like I'm shivering. So in that aspect I'm getting used to the unpredictable weather um, but I have been caught out in the rain more than once. Like it would say mm, chance of rain really low especially the Apple weather app. Do not trust the Apple weather app, it's so unreliable. Uh, just get the AccuWeather app or, or uh, Thinky. I think I also use Thinky. Thinky.jp. I have a bunch of weather apps on my phone now. <laughs> and I just, yeah, I, it's so necessary because that's how unpredictable the weather can be here. Like, um, low chance of rain and then you get out of school and it's absolutely pouring and you don't have an umbrella. Happened to me more than once. I look like a wet dog when I ride back home. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely something to get ready for. And a little more about the weather. Right now it's summer. The infamous Japanese summer just kind of started this week. No, actually last week. I was not expecting it. I mean, sure, they tell you about it and the days leading up to it was like really humid and hot. I was like, sure, if this is how it's gonna be, I can get used to it. My hair is gonna go look like shit all summer, but you know what? I can handle this level of heat, I think. And then the Japanese weather gods just went like, huh, girl, you don't even know. And then they pressed the summer button and it felt like the inside of an oven. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so last weekend I was in Kawagoe with uh, one of my friends, Japanese friends, and they were just laughing at me because I was just dead and so surprised at how hot it was. Like the only way I can compare it is when you go away on a holiday like to the south of France or in Spain where you're wearing a bathing suit and you can go freshen up in the sea or in the pool or you know, you're just walking around in, in mini shorts and like this, the tiniest tank top or like a bikini top. But here, it's the city. You, you're wearing clothes. There is no sea or pool to, to jump in. <laughs> it's just so 
hot and as much like doesn't it didn't matter the amount of times people told me like oh Tokyo is hellishly hot in the summer or like yeah yeah sure I'll wait until I experience it and oh my goodness yes I am experiencing it I'm not sure I like it <laughs> this is like it's not even July yet so wow I'm very surprised. I'm very, very surprised. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. Can you just turn it, turn the, the thermostat down now? <laughs> and that actually uh, slides into the next point, which is air conditioning. Thank God for air conditioning, right? Um, yeah, when I moved to Japan, I didn't expect to be using the air conditioning in my room because I'm not a fan of air conditioning because, you know, it's, it's you hear all these things about it not being really good for your body's inner thermostat or it gives you headaches or it's all, all, all in all not that great for your health screw that, uh, as soon as the weather started like going up like this room is right now I'm quite like mm, it's quite warm with the, the, the window closed and the aircon turned off um, yeah I start, I, I'm using the hell of that shit it's, sometimes it's on for hours at the time so um, yeah <laughs> in Belgium I would just usually not bother just you know use a fan or an electric fan or just you know lie on the floor and die but <laughs> yeah here it's impossible like near impossible without air conditioning and another thing about air conditioning is um, remember at the beginning of the vlogs where I was talking about this weird smell in the room like this musty old stale smell and I don't know if someone com commented in a video or like DM me and said it might be the air conditioning actually I'm pretty sure it was the air conditioning because ever since I figured out that there's a self-cleaning button on the air conditioning I haven't really had um, an issue with that smell anymore so either this confirms that it was the air conditioning that needed a little bit of a clean or I'm used to the smell and it's still there but I, I just can't smell it anymore, anymore which is really... I, ho I hope that's not the case because that would be really bad because that would mean that I smell like that now and that the guests I invite here notice the smell but I can't notice anymore notice it anymore so I hope that's not the case so to whomever uh, wrote that comment down about maybe about the air conditioning maybe needing a clean thank you, thank you, thank you I think it's fine now fingers crossed oh, I forgot to actually mention this one I've seen so many uh, first-hand accounts about Japanese staff insisting to speak English uh, to foreigners or not understanding the when the, the Westerner or the foreigner is speaking Japanese to them like they don't realize that the language that is coming out of their mouth is Japanese I've seen so many like skits or accounts on that but in my case everyone just speaks Japanese to me which is good but most of the time I don't understand what the hell they're saying um, so I'm I don't know if I should be flattered like oh they just assume that because I'm here and the borders aren't really well they're opening up but they're not like at full capacity uh, that since I'm a foreigner here that I probably speak decent enough Japanese but I don't sadly <laughs> um, inferiority complex why <laughs> uh, but yeah I thought I'd just mention that because you see so many skits of that out there and maybe they're not completely true maybe it's just random like to me everyone asks me like do you want chopsticks or do you want a bag or do you have a point card it's like the main questions i get you know things like that i get them fully in japanese or when i ask for an item like the other day i asked for a specific item that was behind like a glass thing that they had to get themselves and they were just like fully speaking to me in keigo japanese like the formal uh, staff to clients Japanese and I was like God, mm. <laughs> sorry but no <laughs> embarrassingly yeah uh, I did write down uh, a little segment about bugs I haven't had like scary bug encounters yet I wish I could say touch wood but I'm pretty sure my bed isn't real wood oh it's getting really hot in here <sighs> 
need to finish this video so I can turn the aircon back on. I haven't had like any disastrous bug encounters yet because um, since I opened my window, bugs do occasionally come in, which I'm, bleh, I don't like it, but I really like opening my window. Uh, but I haven't had like any really, really creepy crawlies. Like so far, I've been able to catch them and release them or, you know, I haven't seen a cockroach yet or a gigantic spider. I think I may have seen a hornet from afar, but you know, so far so good. Now that it's like really hot out, I'm getting a little bit scared. The semi aren't out yet, like the cicadas aren't out, but I'd like for them to stay far <laughs> also, that would be good. Um, so nothing bad yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm bracing myself for it. Um, butterflies though, wow, butterflies in Japan are so pretty. Um, they're the ones you see in books with all the nice patterns, like the one I have on my back. Um, <laughs> like in Belgium you get nice ones, but you, I just wasn't expecting to get even nicer ones in Japan. And I pointed them out again to like Japanese people and they were like, okay, butterfly, cool. It's like, it's so pretty! <laughs> That's something that happens a lot actually when I'm with Japanese people and I'm pointing things out left, right and center and they're just like... Yeah, we see this every day. <laughs> Which is kind of sad because I want to share my, like my joy uh, of discovering something new and exciting uh, for me at least, and they're just like, so this like it's it's usual, you know, <laughs> it's nothing new for us. Um, oh, something I didn't put in my list actually were earthquakes. Uh, so far, so good. Only tiny ones. I've never had like an alarm on my phone go off like earthquake. Um, I've had one happen when I was outside that was kind of noticeable which I didn't like because <laughs> it just feels like swaying so it kind of feels like it makes you a little bit dizzy but so far they've all been small ones um, which is fine by me, absolutely fine by me because I don't have a disaster pack yet in this place I want to purchase it but ooh, that'll be the next subject so we'll, we'll talk about finances in a minute I wrote down that I am unable to wait on escalators yeah, I'm, I'm that person walking on escalator as well. Everyone's on the left waiting for the slow ascent to the next level. I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> I know somewhere I want to be. I just don't, I don't want to spend like three minutes. Oh, it's probably not even three minutes. It's probably one minute to be honest. <laughs> I, I, I have a hard time waiting on escalators. I'd rather just walk even though it's not recommended to walk on escalators. But you know, like that's just a small point. I just wrote it, wrote down too slow just too slow. I also wrote down that I'm starting to miss the weirdest foods from home. Um, not things that I would expect. Of course, I miss how accessible fruit used to be, even though it was Belgium and like half of the things are imported, but it was definitely more accessible price-wise. Here, of course, um, Japan is notorious for their expensive fruits and like really pretty jewelry, like, Fruit. Weird food from Belgium, it's like processed food, like something like I miss uh, supermarket tortellini or um, veggie burgers, there's like a specific brand of uh, spinach veggie burger in this one of the supermarkets back in Belgium that I miss so much. I could like smash 10 of them right now. I'm so loud, oh my god. That's also one of my next points. <laughs> Okay, food-wise, since we're on the subject, not great. Hang on, hang on. It sounds like I'm dissing Japanese food. No, love Japanese food. I'm very happy to get to experience a lot of it, like different restaurants now and then. But because I'm living in a shared house and because I cannot stand the shared kitchen for more than a couple of minutes, I can't stand it. It's just the smell. I cannot stand the smell of it. It just triggers my emetophobia and it cuts my appetite, which is <laughs> besides the point of cooking. So, yeah, food is still an issue. I have lost weight since I've come to Japan, which is not the goal, definitely not the goal. I'm skinny enough as it is, like don't take any more meat off me, please. Um, oh God, it's so hot. 
I definitely still have an issue figure out, figuring out my meals here. I feel like I eat a lot of rice with veggies or like tofu or natto and anything I can shove into my <laughs> rice cooker in my room. But I'm getting tired of like pre-made bento from like lunch boxes from the supermarket. A lot of the bento have like fried food in it and all in all it is processed food. So with that aspect I'm really struggling which kind of brings me to the next point is that three months in to this cherry house and I want to move. I how many times have they gone in and out slamming the door? Yep. Can you hear that? <laughs> I want to move. I think they heard me. <laughs> As I was saying, yeah, three months into this shared house and I really really want to have my own place. I really want to move. Um my own kitchen because I miss cooking so damn much. You know, like you complain that you don't have time to cook and stuff like that, but when you can't, really, I mean, I, I can't. I can go to the friggin' shared kitchen, but it's just the shared house. It's just not that clean of a place. Even though the cleaning staff come once a day during the weekday, they do an amazing job. They're super nice people. No hate on them. Um, they work damn hard because this place is not great. There are pretty gross people in here that just ruin it for everyone and it's kind of starting to ruin it for me to be honest. I really want to move to my own place but two things are stopping me and I think you can guess what they are. <laughs> Japanese and money. <sighs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to uh, segue into kind of a sponsor segment because it's not really sponsored, it's just sponsored by my own store. I have different ones. You can check them out here. I'd be very happy if you did. I'd be super glad if you could have a look at some of the products, give me some feedback, and of course if you purchase anything, tag me when you receive it. I'd be super glad. Of course you can also commission some art from me via those websites, or um, if you don't really like registering with a website, you can always DM me or even better, email me on my business account down there in the description box if you're interested in getting something hand drawn specifically for you. So that was the shout out to maybe help me move to a new place. And another thing, it's always like it's always at the same time that things break down or that you have a lot of bills coming at the same time or like a big expense coming up. But my Wacom tablet or Wacom tablet is slowly dying on me, which is my main work tool. <laughs> so that's also something I could use a little bit of help with if you feel like it. All links down below. Thank you so much. Sorry, I can't take it anymore. I just had to change the battery and now I don't remember where I was, but I think I was close to wrapping the banana pill. Nitori banana. Definitely recommend version one of these because so nice to hug at night. Um, I think I was in the middle of kind of wrapping up with the update section portion of the video because I think I spoke about a lot of different things. Again, if I if you feel like I breezed over some elements a little bit too much, just let me know. And there's definitely a chance for a, a dedicated video on the subject. Yeah, I spoke about school, but I spoke about this place, like half good, half. I'm kind of done, I want to move out of here, but I don't know how yet. Um, yeah, I, I definitely I definitely spoke a whole bunch. I hope I didn't come across as too negative because I know like at the beginning I mentioned a lot of difficult things, but for me this experience, in case you didn't realize it, I really enjoy it here. It's hard, it's hard. I think it's hard for someone like me with you know like anxiety and social anxiety and a lot of issue with like self-esteem and confidence i know it's like it's not easy but i like it here and i want to stay here and i want to it's also kind of like a puzzle that i want to solve like how can i integrate this place while just being myself <laughs> being this awkward weird person how can i make life for myself here so all of it is exciting and it comes with its hardships, moving to a whole new country, continent, with a new culture, language, everything. 
of course it's going to be hard so yeah i think this video is very different from the one i did on the one month marker where everything was new this is more me getting used to things and really like seeing what the prob problem areas are for myself and trying to solve them so maybe that does seem like i'm focusing on the problems more than anything else which i, ho I hope not um but all in all i'm really enjoying it here i'm having a lot of fun again it's not easy every day it comes with challenges but compared to the stagnant life i was leading in belgium this is all this is all good this is all new i just need to figure out how to make it work for me like how can i stay here how can i earn a living how can i learn japanese all the while juggling uh, a creative freelance job which takes up so much time with so little financial reward you know all, all that jazz but um next uh next term i'm gonna be in a new class with a lot of new people i'm um, gonna miss my classmates so much uh we were they were all a good bunch it was a lot of fun i feel like i'm trying to justify myself for my previous opinion i guess i'm a little afraid of the uh if you don't like it here why don't you go back home comments um but yeah i like it here let me just say it again i like it here i'm just a very sensitive person to everything literally everything <laughs> Figuring things out. Anyway, um, let's move on to a few questions that I kept from uh, Instagram. Uh, one of, some of them I've already kind of answered throughout this video. Like, are you looking forward to the Japanese summer heat? Definitely answered that one. I had to turn on the air conditioning halfway through the video because I couldn't continue shooting. My camera is super hot right now. You know, like also my computer. Every every time I turn it on and turn photoshop on or something like that or premiere pro to edit it also like feels like it's overheating so songs that play in your head while walking down a japanese street um i wish i could say something cool like alone in kyoto by air or you know some cool uh city pop from the 80s like plastic love or you know um but all in all it just changes all the time according to my mood like let, let's check my Spotify and what I what I have at the top of my liked songs because usually that's what I just listen to. Mm, shit, I wrote I read the question wrong. Even though I read it, I'm such a dumb dumb sometimes. I'm so sorry. That play in my head. Boy, I don't know. I guess I, I have had a few. Um, lost in translation tracks play in my head like you know cigarettes after sex or i haven't had alone in kyoto as i thought i would have stuck in my head but i have had that song uh from monkey magic <laughs> i can't get out with that band name uh that song eden that that song has been stuck in my head a lot uh recently when walking down a japanese street what was my university oh my major at university i did not go to university buddy i am a university dropout <laughs> i was um actually studying psychology at university quit to go to art school basically long story short it's longer but i mean yeah, that's my answer for now. <laughs> Is it hard to get accepted in language school in Japan? Uh, no, not at all. I went via Gogo Nihon. They helped me with all the admin and the paperwork and they're partnered up with a bunch of schools who do want people to come to Japan to study with their programs. So all in all, it was a really easy process. Um, the hard part was friggin' COVID, <laughs> but yeah. If that's something that you want to look into, I do recommend Gogo Nihon. They are not sponsoring me, but they were really good um, during this whole process. Any plans for language school? Uh, for after language school, apparently I cannot read anymore. Staying in Japan, going back to Belgium, etc. <laughs> Just turn off my phone because you know it's gonna be a long answer. Um, I want to stay, I think. I don't have the longest visa, unfortunately. I don't know why. I thought I would have two years, but it's much less than that. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, 
my initial goal was to stay here for a year and then after covid i was just like okay i'll just try six months and six months and then i'll see what happens um but now that i'm already at the three month point i'm like i'm not going home after another three months i want to stay here longer so i'm definitely aiming for one whole year but after that i well actually starting now i really need to figure out how i'm going to stay here if i want to stay here after a student visa uh, so we'll see. I... Going back to Belgium seems a little bit sad to me. So we'll see. I'm hoping to stay here, but maybe after a year I'll be done. Maybe I'll want to try something else. But also my cat is a huge factor in the fact that I hate being away from him and it might sound weird to a lot of people but it is the case he's my sweet boy and leaving him behind was really hard so <laughs> he does factor into my decision making but right now I am thinking of staying longer if that is an option if I can find out how to be a freelancer here or if I get sponsored by a company or I haven't looked to enter entertainment visa yet but apparently it's kind of hell to get so I don't know. I really don't know. I hope that my good stars are watching over me and not leading me astray. I feel like I've had a lot of like bad luck, so I'm kind of hoping that now it's done. But since I've had bad luck, I'm kind of like, mm, I don't trust you, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It wouldn't be a Q&A without my mom asking me if I'm eating well. I'm doing my best, mommy. I need to have my own kitchen, please. Help me manifest my own place, a nice little place just for me. And the last question, how to be healthy, your tips. Um, well, that question actually kind of needs a dedicated video because health is such a huge topic. It's a huge topic for me. It's also such a subjective topic, like how like being healthy is different for every single person like for some people it's like really hardcore like a lot of control self-control and a lot of like dieting or like being very picky with what you eat and for others it's just like moving around and just breathing in fresh air and having some fresh food and you know it's like so different for everyone so it's really hard to answer that question without going on like for one hour about <laughs> how to be healthy because the definition in itself is subjective but i guess to keep it short my tip would be to define what health is to you and see how far or close you are to that goal like to this healthy version of yourself like visualize this what a healthy version of yourself is and see how far and or close it is to you at the moment and what are the steps you can start taking today to get towards that healthier version of yourself like for some people it's closer than they think and once they define what this healthy version of themselves is it's just a matter of like walking 10,000 steps a day which is the equivalent of 30 minutes i think every day or adding a little bit more greens into their diets or getting a bit more sunlight every day Some, sometimes it's just a small thing or on the flip side if you realize that the healthy version of yourself is like or seems like miles away from where you are now it's a good opportunity to start implementing small steps like you don't need to become this person tomorrow you can just start with small things and when you feel yourself getting closer to that version of yourself, you'll be able to take bigger steps in that direction. That would be my more general tip uh, when it comes to health. But of course, it's, yeah, it would need a whole other video. I don't consider myself to be a healthy enough person either, um, but I think like everyone else on this planet, I'm working on it and we're all doing the best we can. 
so on that positive note i think i'm gonna end the video here so thank you for your questions if you have any more questions write them in the comments below or hang out with me on instagram because there are always these kinds of ama type questions popping up here and there i'm also thinking of implementing some live streams soon so i'm not sure which platform to do it on yet where i haven't just held a poll on instagram actually about it like instagram live or youtube live or twitch stream i don't know yet but um get excited for that i guess i, I really want to do that again it was so much fun when i was doing it back then and now that i'm in japan i think we can make it even more fun so something to look forward to. As mentioned previously, um, the links to my different online stores are also in the description. Um, every little helps as usual. I know I'm kind of tired of being like, every little helps, I'm a little bit poor, I want to move on in life, but I mean, it is what it is and I hope that one day I can have the budget to make like these incredible types of videos of traveling around Japan without any limit and um, I think it will benefit both of us in some way. <laughs> That's a weird kind of way to advertise um, my stores, I guess. But yeah, in the, in, in the meantime, it will help with, you know, like daily necessities and ultimately to move to a better place than this. Arr. All links down below. Thank you for watching. I'm aware that this was a very long video. I know this because future me has edited this and probably hates me right now for talking for probably over an hour right now. Hopefully I can edit it down <laughs> to a more comfortable format. We'll see. Um, where did the sun go? I was about to go outside. Cloudy? Hmm. Anyway, I hope you're keeping well. The video, next videos after this will probably be a bunch of, of vlogs because I think accumulated a bunch of mismatched clips that I can put together in maybe one or two vlogs that I think you will enjoy. So look out for that as well. So, hope you're well. Keep safe. Keep happy. Comment below. Whatever you want. <laughs> Comment below the types of things that you want to see on this channel next. And I will see you all very soon. Oh, lipstick kind of kiss.